I'm Alan Ning. I'm a Zarni Kid, and today we review Queen Pins, starring your favorite Kristen Bell, Vince Vaughn, and uh, our new favorite, uh, Paul Walter Hauser. Uh, this is, uh, to me, this is, oh, it's it's one of these, it should, this movie should be so much better than it was. Uh, you know, uh, the, the cast, an interesting story, um, I, it just really fell flat for me. Uh, what did you think of Queen Pins? Yeah, the thing is, is this is based on a true incident. There were these. It's, it's inspired by true events. Yes. It's it, it's these three women led by one who was a, a coupon collector who engages in this coupon scam that becomes such a big thing that ultimately it gets all the way up to the FBI and the U.S. Postal Service gets involved and they bring they have to bring these housewives down. Like it, it, they're brought down by the U.S. Postal Service. And so the. So the, when you think of that, you're like, oh my gosh, of course that sounds interesting. Well, it could be a great movie. Mm -hmm. But the, the problem is, is that the way this movie plays out, it almost plays out like a silly comedy slash parody. And I have to tell you, they, they from the moment the opening scene appeared, they had me, uh, I, I was- they, You were they, out. I was out because it starts with like, an arrest in in a bedroom in a house, and then the freeze frame shot, and then the voiceover going, "Hi, this is me. Uh, wonder how this happened? Well, let's start from the beginning." And then when the freeze frame happens, there's that record player screech, and yeah. that entire it's, scenario in itself is a parody today. Like, who does it's that? It's a trope. It, it's an absolute overused trope now. Right. Uh, and and I'm like, you know, you didn't. I was like, you didn't need it. You absolutely didn't need it. Yes, but I was what exactly? So when it came, when it played out, I was like, oh my god, you did not just do that. Like, and then it is. It is because yeah. the characters are not grounded in any way. In fact, we don't even know who to root for. Do we root for the perky housewives engaging in this activity, or do we root for, which is almost like a separate movie of like a buddy cop comedy yeah. movie between a postal inspector and like a grocery store uh, fraudulent crimes guy. Yeah, where well, the issue for me is, is that this is a comedy thriller when it really should be either a comedy or a thriller. And, and it's it's one where you, you take these two disparate genres, you put them together and you, you go down the middle of this mediocre road. And that's what this entire movie is. It's so mediocre because it's not quite a comedy and it's not quite a thriller. Yes. And and that's you know, and this is where bland and boring comes in, and, and that's what it ultimately becomes because because yeah. the, the the characters are a little bit over the top when they should be over the top. The situation is a little bit over the top, but it isn't played over the top. At the same time, uh, you, you could have made the thrills much more thrilling. But they didn't, and and instead they walked down right, they walked right down the middle, and uh, and blandness ensued. I agree one hundred percent with because when you say that, I start thinking, well, what would be some of the examples that it could have gone? And then I picture like it could be, it could have been, it could have taken the route of like Steven Soderbergh ta like tra ta tackling traffic, but in the world of coupons or Steven Soderbergh doing something like behind the candelabra where there's these larger than life personalities, but they're engaged in heinous activities. Or you could have gone that sort of satire way where you can really mm -hmm. make fun of coupon collecting and you could have gone the way of like Adam McKay and the big short. Yeah, where you can no, say do a social commentary in that regard while still keeping things light and funny. But unfortunately, it's neither that nor that, and it, it's it's what we get. And then you you brought up, you know, who are we rooting for? So Kristen Bell and Kirby Howell Baptiste, um, they are the, the protagonists, they are the criminals. Um, and, you know, the, the issue I have with this is that they are committing a crime. They, they kind of fall into it, but you know, we all know that what they're doing is illegal, and 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 it gets to the point where they do realize that they're what they're doing is illegal by the fact that that everything they're doing, and so and and then also Kristen Bell's character, as much as we like Kristen Bell, she does she's not uh, presented as uh, you know the cheery, likable characters that she always plays. There's a great deal of darkness to this character, and and so 
you know, and so I, it's kind of like now are we su- the movie? I think the movie wants us to root for them, but when you really look at what they're doing and and the way they're presented, it's really hard to root for them. I actually didn't find her to be that dark. I, I was like, if, I was like, this is like a. Um, like uh, the if Elle Woods from Legally Blonde was a coupon collector, like that's that's who I thought we were getting, and it, their activities weren't really grounded in anything where we could really relate and understand or sympathize uh, that they were doing what they were doing. I mean, what she's not happy in her marriage and she's bored, so she's gonna you know conduct a, a an international scam between like <laughs> Mexico and the US like I, I I really wasn't buying any any of that there were not there were, this movie wasn't grounded in anything there was no mm-hmm. anchor to it it just kind of floated up somewhere in the silliness so yeah. that's that's what that's what I have to say yeah and I will say also that uh Paul Walter Hauser. We've been seeing him a lot of stuff. I, you know, I, I, I liked him in this. Um, you know, he, he's, is probably the good character kind of he's annoyingly immensely, good. He's, but he's immensely the, watchable. He is immensely watchable and he yeah. kind of has the market cornered on that kind of lovable do gooder on the outside who desperately wants to be on the inside yeah. with the cool kids. Well, Barney um, Fife basically. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we just saw him. He was in Wheaties. We saw we we reviewed him yeah. in Wheaties. Uh, so he to me and Cruella. Cru- oh, that's yes. not, I mean Cruella yes. is as serious yes. as, as you get for an over uh, oh, yes. the top theater. No, no, and, no. and and then just the dynamic with him and Vince Vaughn is uh was was fun to watch. Thank and and, so and at that point it's like, well, are we rooting for them now? Yeah, uh, exactly. 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 I mean, Vince Vaughn and Paul Walter Hauser have such an amazing chemistry that definitely I would watch more movies if they did more of these kind of buddy yeah. scenarios. But um, but otherwise, you know, this movie's pretty much a pass for me. There's there's no, it's not it's not good enough to, rec- to recommend. Uh, and and if you do come across it and watch it, there's there's really not going to be much for you afterwards. You know, you might as well multitask and like do the dishes yeah. or clean around the house if, if you're going to be watching it. Yeah, it's definitely not a repeat. So yeah. just just having said what you said, uh, let's uh, let's say you gave it a four. Uh, I, I gave it a five. I mm-hmm. gave it a five because I didn't. Um, it wasn't so bad that I wanted to turn it off. It, the the acting wasn't horrible or I wasn't bored. You know, it was it. It kept. It was so light that it it kept me seated to just kind of watch it uh, because some of the characters were enjoyable to watch. So I'm, I'm right down the middle, literally, take it or leave it. Um, mm-hmm. That's what it is for me. But I, I I think that I think that you kind of feel the same way as I do. But I think you you are would be more strong in your feelings, and you would give it a four. Uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a five. I, I think uh, I think Vince Vaughn and Paul Walter Hauser really. Uh, Really elevates this movie to a five. <laughs> I think that's the best way I can say it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just yeah, definitely not recommended. Definitely not a second watch. And uh, I, and and I think uh, again, I'll say it. Uh, this movie could have been so much better. It should have been so much better, and it was. It has every element there, and it just wasn't handled right. And uh, so that's why. All right. Here we go. There you go. All right. So with that, um, hey, what did you think of Queen Pins? Did you see it? Uh, let us know. Like, no, subscribe, comment. And with that, let's get out of here. Mm-hmm.